Holy God, that's a lot of work to be finished in such a short time. You didn't mean to say it aloud, but you forget where you are standing. Did you say something? You pressed your lips together and shook your head. Nothing. I think I should start, but wait. First, I have to send an email to Mr. David and also you have a meeting with the clients. After that, a meeting with VIP investors and lastly, a conference with a special team. Why you are sending the email now when it should be sent yesterday? Actually, I forgot. Forgot? Do you think it's your home? Ms. Kang Wayan, you again press your lips together lowering your head. I'm sorry sir, it won't happen again. I can see you are lacking in your efficiency of work. Either you do something about it or else ready to get your resignation letter. He grabbed his phone and left the office giving you a heart attack. Resignation letter? Is he for real? Stupid coconut head. You grabbed the file and followed him while cursing. Jungkook entered inside the meeting room followed by you. Sorry for the delay, we can start right now. He sat on his chair while you started explaining the whole project to the clients that you worked on waking up whole night. You were already exhausted plus you have eaten nothing from the morning already making you feel so weak. We have finalized the cast and also contracted with the production team. Now the only thing left is the investment that we will definitely going to get within this week and then we can start with filmmaking. We are ready to broadcast it on our OTT platform once it is released. We will first going to release it in theaters and then only you can proceed further. We agree but this should be sold to us right after that. Jungkook nodded. Don't worry, you have my words. It was so hard to keep up with the stamina and energy to attend the meetings back to back. Jungkook doesn't look like a human because he doesn't look a bit tired at all while you were on the verge of dozing off. And the fact that you have to make report going through so much data after all this meeting were giving you a headache. Omo, PNM, are you okay? She was worried to see your face as you were now looking like a dead body. What happened to you? You were looking like you would collapse. You took a sip of your coffee and looked at her. I also feel the same. I don't know until when I would be alive. You are working too much. Please take some rest or else you will ruin your health. You sighed. You are forgetting that I'm a secretary and I have to work under the surveillance of that scary man. I know, but please take care of yourself. I'm worried about your health. Thanks for your concern. At least someone is worried about me. You bid her goodbye and walked towards the office. You came into the office making a weird face. He was looking on his laptop as you glared at him. If you're done staring at me, then get back to the work. It's already 9. Can I start tomorrow? Why tomorrow? Have you ever seen me delay my work? I'm not like you though. You press your lips together when he glared at you. Then become like that, you should know in which position you are. It doesn't suit a secretary to work so carelessly. Your jaw dropped as you turned towards him. Carelessly? Excuse me? I'm literally managing your schedule for each and every second. I do more work than you so shouldn't even say that. 
Do you want to stay here all night? You drank your anger and walked towards the desk mumbling before starting the work. I hope you'll finish all that on time. You still doesn't know exactly how much it takes to complete that much work. Such a dumbo. You mumbled. You were doing your work and looking at the time off and only to see it's flying so fast. It was past two and you were on the verge of dozing off. You looked at Jungle who was still working on his laptop. Is he even a human? What does he eat? You knew there's no way you can go back home now and you have to spend your night in the office itself. Your body started aching as you cracked your neck to release the tension. Jungle lifted up his eyes and noticed you were yawning. He melted a little bit which is very rare for him to feel for someone but because you were working for so long and didn't even eat so he decided to get something for you. Do you want something to eat? You looked at him surprised. Are you asking me? No, I'm asking the ghost sitting beside you. He looked beside you and then at him. Stop scaring me. I'm already tired. It's going down. Water. A coffee and ramen would work? You nodded. Yes, and please bring cold coffee. I'm not a fan of hot one. Thanks. Jungkook shook his head as you were ordering him as if he's a waiter. He walked out from the room. I never know he has a heart. You laughed saying that to yourself but suddenly you started feeling dizzy. You grabbed your hair. What the hell is wrong? Why everything is spinning around me? You got up and poured yourself a glass of water but before you drink it you collapsed on the floor. Jungo came back in the office with some drinks and food but as soon as he saw you laying on the floor he tensed up. He quickly put the food on the table and rushed near you. Oh my god, is she dead? He shook your body. Why and open your eyes. Why are you lying on the floor? What do I do now? Oh yes, doctor. He quickly took out his phone from his pocket and dialed a number. Is this Dr. Mina speaking? Yes, what's the problem? He looked at you. Can you please come to my company? It's an emergency. I'm sorry to trouble you at this hour. It's okay, I'll be there. He ended the call and picked you up before making you lay down on the couch. What a horrible day. I swear it all will come on me if something happened to her. Wayan, can you hear me? I bought you food and coffee. I even brought fries and a burger. Please get up. He started to panic. Is this happened because of me? No, I did nothing. Is this girl not taking care of herself properly? He checked the time again waiting for the doctor. Suddenly he got a call from the doctor. What happened doctor? Why it's taking so long? I'm sorry Mr. Jungko but can you please bring her to the clinic? I'm reaching there. Okay please prepare everything. She just collapsed all of a sudden. Don't worry she must have fainted. Just bring her. He ended the call and looked at you. I should have let you go home. He picked you up and walked outside the room. You open your eyes in front to find yourself in a completely different place. Where am I? Are you okay? You noticed his tensed face. What am I doing in a hospital? You scared the hell out of me. You saw him this much worried for the first time. Now what did I do? I was doing the work. He looked at you.
when you know how much you have to work then why don't you properly eat you know how scared i got when i saw you laying on the floor like a dead frog i thought something happened to you I know this isn't a time or place to say this but he looks even more hot and handsome when he's cold like this. You can't believe he was worried about you. You didn't give me time to say anything. You just want work. Stop blaming me. I know today's day was exhausting but I didn't know you don't eat anything. You got worried because you thought I died. He glared at you as you pressed your lips together. You planned to send me in prison but God protected me. You were tensed about going behind the bars more than my death. Dumb people don't die easily. Your jaw dropped as you again came back in the savage mode. Now rest properly and you don't have to come to work until you feel absolutely fine. Are you by any chance firing me up from the work? You said getting tensed. I see. I still need such a dedicated secretary, so I still haven't think about it. A shy smile appeared on your face when he indirectly praised you. And also, I'm buying you an apartment near to mine, so you don't have to drive back and forth. It will save a lot of time. Your eyes widened. You wouldn't believe this cold-hearted man is being so kind to you. Are you sure? Do I ever joke? You look down. Now you can rest. I'm waiting outside and we'll leave once you feel okay. You nodded as he walked away from the room. You put your hand on your chest. Why do I feel like he's being too possessive for me? Oh no, does he likes me? Ah, uh, if this happens, my dream would come true. He's literally the man of my dreams. You walk towards the door, rubbing your eyes before opening it. The moment you open the door, your eyes wide open as you looked at Jungkook shop. Jungkook, I mean sir, he gave you the bouquet of roses that he brought for you. You were surprised while he was nervous. Please come inside. It's okay. I just come to check on you whether you are okay now. I even brought some fruits and some food. Thank you so much. It means a lot. He walked inside. Is everything okay? He smiled and nodded. You thought I would die? I know you won't. You chuckled. Would you like to have some coffee? You said walking in the kitchen to put the food he brought. I'm good. Are you feeling any better? You nodded. And I'll get back to work from tomorrow. It's okay. You can take time if you want. You turned towards him. I'm already feeling good. He nodded. By the way, I already paid the amount and finalized the deal, so you can move on to that apartment. It's already well furnished, so you just need to shift your personal stuff. Are you serious? I mean, I can't take such a big apartment from you for nothing. You don't have to do that. I already did, and if I can ask you to do so much work just because you are my secretary, then you deserve more. And that apartment is a reward for your hard work. Still, it's too much. So, when are you shifting? You looked at him. I'm not sure. Let's do it today itself, so you don't have to bear any trouble later on. You smiled and nodded. Did you send the email to Mr. Cha? He asked without removing his eyes from his computer screen. This guy literally put his blood, sweat, and tears in work. 
Yes, and they immediately give a response that they are glad to accept this deal. I've talked to the production house as well and soon the shooting of the film will end and we can proceed further with promotion and marketing. Perfect. What are you doing tonight? He looked at him confused. Pardon? He lift up his face and looked at you. Are you busy tonight? You could feel your cheeks turning pink. No, I just probably go and chill watching Netflix. How about going to dinner? This guy can't flirt with serious face. As you say, you could feel butterflies in your stomach. Let me take you back to a time when love was as precious as Fine, let's go to dinner after work. You look down smiling shyly. Wow, this place looks too luxurious. Are you a regular customer? You looked at him as he gave you a weird look making you smile awkwardly. Such a stupid question, I know. You both sat inside the booth. Order whatever you want. You looked at the menu and your eyes widened seeing the prices of dishes. Do they sell gold? You looked at him. We can eat better and delicious food from street market that too way cheaper than this. Are you like this or you just have to act weird all the time? You started looking in the menu. By the way, I'm just wondering why you are being so affectionate towards me. Wait, don't tell me. Are you falling for me because that's the only way a guy do this to a girl? When you got no response from him, you mentally facepalm yourself for asking such a stupid question. I guess not. Sorry. It's true. He looked at him stunned. I like you from a long time. Your cheeks turn pink and you don't know how to act li right now. I'm sorry, I don't know if it's the best confession or I made you uncomfortable but I won't force you. It's completely your decision. I have no problem. You said without wasting a second and then your cheeks turned red. He looked down and smiled. That's a good sign. Can I ask you why did you fall for me? I mean, you always look irritated by me, so. I don't have a specific answer. I just realize I'm more happy when you are around me. And that's what I always wanted to be in my life partner with whom I can feel comfortable. So, am I that person with whom you feel comfortable? He looked at you with straight face while you awkwardly smiled. I ask such dumb questions. Of course you do, that's why you are saying. He chuckled. <laughs>